know it's been a little bit of time since our last video, but today we have a new one and it's not an art video. Today's video is a science one. It's an experiment called dancing rice. Now you're probably thinking, dancing rice? We don't make rice dance, we eat it. Which is true, that's what rice is made for so that you can eat it. But, <clears throat> but with today's experiment, you're gonna have some ingredients to make the rice dance. Well, that's what we hope to happen. So, gotta try it out. Let's get started. Okay, these are the things that you're going to need to make your dancing rice. You're going to need rice, a bottle of white vinegar, not the whole bottle, but some of the white vinegar, a jar or glass of water, almost to the top, some baking soda, and last, food coloring. That's so it can give your dancing rice some color so you can see it. Okay. So your glass of water, or jar of water, is gonna be filled up almost to the top. You need to leave some room for the rice. You can take your food coloring and drop some inside. I think I'm gonna use a few drops. About three or four drops is just enough. Okay, now you're gonna take the baking soda and you need one tablespoon. That's what the measuring spoon says. Just one. Take it and pour it right in. And make sure you stir it around. Make sure you stir it all the way and mixed into the water. Next, we add one fourth cup of rice. There it goes. You can kind of see that the rice is moving around already. Now it's time for the vinegar. You're going to need two tablespoons of the vinegar. Just two tablespoons to start. And once it goes in, you'll start to see what happens. There it goes. The rice is moving around. The vinegar sets in and it starts to make it go. Let's watch it a little bit more. It's dancing on top, but it's gonna start moving around on the bottom. Let's let's add some more vinegar. Ooh, there it goes. There goes all the dancing rice. It bubbles on top and moves all around. So how did that go for you? Did you try it? Did it dance a lot? Did your rice move all over the the glass or the jar you had? I know that after I finished my experiment, the rice danced for a long time. And then I had to empty it out and clean up all my, all my work. But it did, it danced for a long time. And I'll give you a, a tip. If you add more vinegar and baking soda, it keeps going up. I don't know what it is about that mix, but that's what happens. I just, I really wonder why it does that, but that's what it does with those two things. So I hope that you tried it. And if you didn't get a chance to, you can always do it when you, when you can. And if you do it again, try different colors next time. Maybe instead of a blue, you try a yellow. And if you choose to use two colors, I would, I would just tell you 
to pick two colors that are not too dark because then it might make your your water too dark and then you can't see the rice anymore so you just have to think about what color you want okay that's the end of today's video i hope that you try it and when you do if you like we'd love to see the, the pictures of your experiment on class dojo okay see you next time everybody